since day one of buying my GTO, the one thing that's been bothering me are the floor mats. They keep moving around. The car originally came with a pin to hold the floor mats in place, but a previous owner lost it and buying it online has been either difficult or expensive or both. The pin is unique to that car and since there weren't very many of those cars made, it's a little hard to find. I was browsing a website that lets you upload and download 3D files for free and came across that exact pin that I needed for the GTO. The library near me just happens to have a makerspace with two 3D printers. The library taught me how to use the 3D printer and I was able to print out that part. The print took about an hour. Here's the print in two stages of its progress. Whenever you're 3D printing a part, there are areas that may overhang and you'll need support structures for that. So it doesn't droop down or fall apart while it's being constructed. However, these parts have to be removed after the print is done. Many of these supports aren't that difficult to remove, but on some small parts they can be. Out of all the 3D prints I've made, automotive or not, the only two tools that I've needed to remove supports are a pair of needle nose pliers or some kind of cutting blade. Back to the carpet clip that we're focusing on. The three pins at the bottom that hold it in place once you screw it in, they were just a little bit too big to fit into the hole in the carpet, so I had to file them down a bit to get them to fit. Because of the vast amounts of plastic parts in modern vehicles, there's a lot of potential in 3D printing to make custom parts that you otherwise wouldn't be able to make. I'm heading back to the library because I've got a better idea for one of these pins. I've actually designed a new pin. This one's going to have the name GTO on it, and in the middle of the T will be the actual slot for the screwdriver. The pins that hold it in are also going to be a little bit smaller, so they'll actually fit this time. This is the clip that I designed. This one's a little rough on the surface because I printed it on a raft. I'll explain what that is in a future video. But it's a good prototype version, but definitely not something I would use in a show car. If you do end up with a rough finish like that, you could sand it down, but you will have a slightly thinner part than you originally had. I could sand this down smooth, but my GTO is yellow. The blue pin would look a little out of place. The important part is we've shown that we can solve this problem using 3D printing. There are plenty of other ways that 3D printing can solve automotive problems, so if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. I'll be putting out videos like that soon. And in the meantime, you'll be able to learn all kinds of cool stuff about how cars work. Two videos I have planned for the future are how to take a 3D model and modify it so it fits better or performs better, and how to make a brand new part from scratch. 